When you are in the game, this is what you see. At the lower right are the gold counter and courier buttons. In-game shops can be accessed by clicking the gold counter or with a hotkey. The shop is divided between basic and upgrades. If you have a planned item you use your quick buy by using the shift left click. A stash window will pop up when you're not on your base and you have bought an item. You can use your courier to deliver your items or you can get them when you are in the fountain. Good idea. The inventory and backpack is where items are kept when the player buys them at the shop. Items can be freely moved between the player's inventory and the stash if their hero is within the main shop's area. The backpack is an extension of the inventory that allows heroes to carry three more items but items put here are inactive. Ominous veggies. Smell the dummies. Yes. Time for a little victory. Ottawa Tower is under attack. This is for the neutral items, and this is for the TP scroll. The mini map allows players to quickly assess the entire map, together with the scan and fortify button. Between the minimap and the inventory, is the hero display along with its abilities and status. An animated portrait of the currently selected unit is visible with your hero stat, what level are you, and the talents of your hero. The abilities of the unit are located at the center of his HUD element. The HUD shows the cooldown of the abilities and also shows when an ability cannot be cast due to insufficient mana. The health and mana are located right below the abilities. You can see your max health and your current health, the same as the max mana and the mana you have. The empty space above the health bar is used to display modifiers the unit is affected by. A modifier with red borders is considered a debuff, and a modifier with green borders is considered a buff. At the far right is the scepter and shard status, you can also drag your mouse here so that you can see what effects or skills will be given to you when you buy shard and agonim scepter. At the top of the screen, a list of all heroes in the game will be displayed. The hero list also shows the status of allied heroes ultimate abilities, similar to the scoreboard. A diamond will appear at the bottom of the hero's icon when they learn the first level of their ultimate. A green diamond means the spell is ready, and blue means it is off cooldown, but the hero does not have enough mana to cast it. A grey diamond means the spell is on cooldown and can be hovered over with the mouse to see the cooldown timer. Alt left clicking will report in the team chat that the hero is missing from their lane. The game clock indicates the current game time, and whether it is night or day. The number on each side of the game clock is the hero kills for both teams. In the upper right corner are the FPS and network information. This arrow will bring you back to the main menu. This one is for the settings. These three lines are for the scoreboard. These are your kills, death, and assist. These show your last hit and denies. <laughs> the 
That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Let me know if I miss something on the comments section. Like and subscribe for more videos. And as always, have a nice day. Lightning. Go. A gift from the